Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your um, second half of your February from the 16th to the 29th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are, take, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch to this if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, I'm doing a giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. If you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, I did put the uh, description on how to enter in the uh, YouTube community tab on my YouTube page, okay? For those of you guys that are entering, uh, good luck. I will make the announcement for the winner uh, on March 20, not 28th, uh, March 8th, sorry. So Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. What does Virgo need to know and love uh, in, the per in the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th? Some of the rising Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo. Tell me about Virgo here and love and the person that they are connecting with. Look at the Queen of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. Seems like you're walking away from somebody here. Yeah, someone here that has juggled you here. You know, someone here that has used you as a doormat here. Someone here has, that has been very in and out, very inconsistent here with the communication here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like when you get together with this person, you know, I feel like everything is a really great old time. But then after you, you know, part ways, I feel like you don't hear from, from this person for a very long time. And then they pop out of nowhere. Okay. So I do feel like some here is definitely like if this person has uh, been ghosting you or not responding to your messages for the, like the last week or two, I do feel like this person is definitely coming back around to communicate with you here. With a ton of wands here and the four of swords, I feel like you're completely ignoring this person. I feel like you're starting to feel like this person's becoming a burden here. Yeah, it's a burden because there's a lack of consistency here. You know, there's a lack of like, you know, uh, bringing something really solid to the table here with this individual. With the Queen of Pentacles here and the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. You might have been dealing with, yeah, this person definitely has some sort of options here. Um, you know, I do feel like this person is coming in to choose you. But at the end of the day, I feel like it doesn't really matter because I feel like you're realizing that this person is on a two, is a, is on a, on a completely two different wavelength as you, different vibration here. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like you're completely ignoring this person. Look how this uh, Nine of Pentacles is looking away from this little page here. Yeah, you're just really focused on your work at this time here. You're focusing on your success here and your uh, uh, your financial success here and your career success here. And I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person feels like they're hotter than sliced bread. They feel like they feel like no one can reject them or that they can't be rejected by anyone here. Because I I mean maybe this person thinks that they're hotter than sliced bread. Like I said, did I say that? Yeah, they think that they're hotter than sliced bread. You know, you can't reject them. I feel like this person likes a lot of attention. I feel like they don't, just don't like attention from you, but I feel like this person likes a, a, a attention from a lot of different other people here. And do you feel like this person has a tendency to be also very flirty here too? So it could be a situation that you see this person for who they are and they're not really your jam here, Virgo. What else do we have for, for Virgo? The person that Virgo is dealing with here, the, um, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for the second half of February from the 16th to the 29th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs with a star card here in the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so what we have here is I feel like they are hopeful that you will accept their offer here, but I actually don't see you accepting here. Yeah, I, I just feel like... You're definitely playing hard to get here. You know, there's definitely a bit of tough love here. Yeah, I, I feel like this person's hopeful that there is going to be a reconciliation here or that there's going to be a coming together, uh, a new beginning here. I just don't really see it happening here because I, Virgo, I see you actually sticking to your guns here with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Hangman. I mean, this person could try all they want, uh, but I do feel like this person's definitely going to be left on red here. I mean, 
you know, maybe this person also is seeing things on a wider lens here or seeing things from your perspective where they feel like they should have done things in a much better way here. The hangman and the ten of swords, yeah. Ooh, they're realizing that they really hurt you here. They've, they're realizing that they betrayed you. Um, they're definitely putting themselves into your shoes here. So I feel like this person is definitely having a better understanding of how they hurt you here. So I do feel like there is a possibility that you guys can bridge a gap here and have a conversation, you know, uh, because, you know, uh, you know, the point of, you know, when we hurt people or people hurt you, you know, being able to put yourself into other people's shoes, it shows a sign of empathy here. You know, it shows a sign that you're able to connect with someone here on a, deep, on a deep emotional level here. The Four of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Cups here and the Five of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like you're really angry at this person here. I do feel like there will be an argument here, but I feel like what this person is showing you I do feel like this person's definitely making some changes here. I do feel like this person's definitely serious about an offer here. Yeah, uh, they're serious about their apology here. Yeah, they're very serious about their apology here. And I feel like this person wants to prove to you that they've changed, okay? Or that they are in the process of changing or that they're working on themselves here. What else do we have for, for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to the sex situation. For the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th, we have the Ace of Swords here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So what we have here is I feel like this person's definitely stepping in. To tell you the truth here. I do feel like this person is definitely being very honest and truthful here. Um, you know, if there is any, there has been any sort of options here, I do feel like this person is definitely like dropping them or letting go of that. If, if there has been any sort of toxic behaviors here, I do feel like this person is definitely making those changes here at this time, okay? Someone here is definitely going through some sort of major awakening or some sort of major epiphany of realization that, you know, perhaps the way that they behave is not the right thing to do here. We have the uh, uh, we have temperance here, Sagittarius energy, the Tower Aries, Scorpio judgment, Sagittarius energy, and the Capricorn uh, and the Devil Capricorn energy here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Tell me that temperance here. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Tower. We have the Six of Cups here and the uh, and the Judgment card. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely looking for a reconciliation here. They want to give you everything that they've ever dreamed of here. You know, I do feel like, you know, they're realizing that, that, that per this person's realizing that you are a major blessing in their life here. And they feel like this person did not recognize that in the very beginning here. And now they do. And now that they, they do, you are blocking this person out here. Yeah, you are blocking this person out here. So uh, for you right now, I just feel like you just need some space. Yeah, you just need some space to collect yourself here. I feel like you're not really quite ready to talk to this person yet. Tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Devil? Oh, what am I doing with my deck here? I'm so sorry. I messed this up. Tell me about the devil here. Why is the devil here? Devil. Okay, the world. Yeah, you're totally done with this person. Um, I, I just feel like there's no wiggle room at this point here. Yeah, the King of Cups here and the Page of Wands, Aries, Little Satch, the Ace of Swords here and the Five of Pentacles. I mean, they're definitely feeling very, 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 very lonely without you. They're definitely learning a huge lesson here with you. And I feel like this person doesn't want, like, I feel like this person's not going to do it again or that they don't want to do it again because they don't want to hurt you here. But, you know, I just feel like you just don't trust this individual. I feel like you're trying to get away from them. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they're definitely putting themselves th themselves into your shoes here. And they feel like they, they, they're they realizing what they did was very, very, very wrong. Okay. So, uh, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comments comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.